everybody. So it's Friday right now and I actually vlogged throughout this entire week, but unfortunately my audio got so messed up. I didn't realize that I had a setting on on my camera that would directly affect the audio. Basically, it's not really usable. It's not really what I pictured it to be. So we're kind of taking a step back and starting over and I'm just going to be vlogging my weekend for you guys. But I thought it would be nice to just have like a mini vlog, see how you guys feel about it and see how I feel about it. So we're starting with this. It is about 1 p.m. I spent this morning just getting my things together. I was chatting with some of my girlfriends because we have an event to attend next week. So we were kind of figuring out what we were gonna wear together because it is a black tie formal event. So that makes it a little bit more difficult than just going to a casual event, you know? I also FaceTimed a little bit with my sister, did some laundry. So now what I'm planning on doing, I wanna play around with my hair. I have that wavy talk tool on Amazon that went viral on TikTok and I've only used the round brush and I saw someone on TikTok actually use a couple of the other attachments. I've been meaning to, so I have freshly washed hair here, washed it last night. I was thinking of playing around with the Dyson Airwrap but I don't really want to wet my hair all over again and do all of that stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and play with the wavy talk. Then we're gonna do some makeup. I'm gonna be making some posts for Lemon 8. I have three or so more that I want to do before this weekend ends. I hate when I go into days and I don't have a plan. I've been thinking about ending my nights with a list of to-dos for the next day so I I stick to that and I have to keep myself accountable and actually stick to those things because it's getting to a point where I'm just getting a little too flexible with myself and it's hard for me to get anything done because I'm like oh but I wanted to do this oh but I wanted to do this oh for instance I still want to do my nails. I've actually been talking about doing my nails all week. I've been talking about doing my nails. There were like two separate occasions this week where I was gonna sit down and do my nails, but other things came up and I just didn't. So maybe that's on the to-do today. First things first, we're gonna do my hair. I feel like once I do my hair, I kind of have a feel for what I wanna do next. We'll see. Hey everybody, so it's 5.30 now. I <laughs> did not end up doing my hair, as you can see. I'm actually about to use it. This is the wavy talk that I was speaking about earlier. It's the one that comes with a bunch of attachments. I have them right here. And like I mentioned, I've only tried this one. I did a video on it and I've used it several times. I do like it. But the only thing with this that I've noticed versus a round brush, like hair drying tool is that you don't get the same volume up top, obviously. Even if you round brush the very top of it, it's it's really hard to get the same amount of volume. So I actually ended up editing, finishing, and uploading my vlog from two weeks ago. Like I mentioned, this past week's vlog did not go according to plan because of the audio. I don't ever use bubble wands. I actually don't know if I've ever used a bubble wand. So this is the first time using it as wavy like this brand and in general. But anyways, I finished that vlog and I put it up and so far you guys are really liking it. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. That vlog took a good amount of time. Whoa, that's very spirally, but it also kind of looks a little crazy up here. Can you guys tell? So that's been the majority of my day. Obviously I've not done my nails. <laughs> I decided that it was okay to take my time on this vlog or the first one since it was my very first vlog. I didn't want to rush it and I also just didn't want to overwhelm myself. I think you're supposed to put it between the bubbles, right? Maybe I'll look up a tutorial eventually. So I think one of the next videos I want to do is like my brown lip product picks. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to brown glossy products or just brown in general, but I think that would be a really fun one now that we're getting closer to fall time. It's still in the mid 80s, like sometimes 90s where I'm at, so I'm definitely still sweating. And this room is actually probably the hottest room in our house because it is a south facing window right here. So in the evenings, it does get very hot 
and I have to like close these blackout curtains so I avoid it getting super hot. That's one of the reasons why I don't like filming in the late afternoon because it's super hot in here. And I am wearing this cardigan. I know that's kind of ironic that I'm wearing a cardigan right now, but it's honestly because I don't want to show you guys my armpits. <laughs> Jed just went to go pick up our dinner. Actually done quite well with our meals. We've cooked every meal thus far this week. And this is the first time we're actually buying food and I'm okay with it. He was craving some wings, so he's gonna go grab us some wing stop. I usually use the Bioionic Curling Long Barrel Curler. It's the one and a quarter or 1.25 inch barrel. And I've been using that for almost two years now and I really, really like it. It is a great quality curling iron. So this is actually the first time I'm curling my hair with something other than that. I mean, do wavers count? No, waver, beach wavers don't count because that's a waver. I already put some heat protectant in my hair, by the way. I put heat protectant and I brushed it out. It's the IGK Good Behavior. I use this one and the Living Proof Heat Styling Spray. I really like both of them. This one smells really good seems to work really well. I know that if you curl the hair onto the actual spheres, like the actual bubbles, it gives you a different effect than if you curl it in between them. I think it's just tighter maybe. This is curling it pretty quickly actually. I think that it really helps to have these bubbles because then you can make sure that all the hair stays evenly onto the heat rod, I guess, versus when you use a wand, sometimes I find that all the hair tends to fall towards one section and it kind of like all piles up and it doesn't get evenly heated. But with the bubble wand, I feel like it's avoiding that, which is really nice. Okay, I'm back. This is what the hair looks like. It definitely gives you very spirally, bubbly curls. It's really cute, very cute, but I definitely think that I personally need to brush it out for just my style. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I don't have a wide tooth comb or anything near me. I just have this one and I don't know if that'll give me the look I want. I'm just gonna tilt my head and just shake it out first. I have a feeling this might be a little crazy to begin with. I'm trying to be pretty gentle with it cause I don't want it to frizz up too much. Wow, you know, this reminds me of when I had a perm. <laughs> just gonna kind of shake it. That is volume. We're definitely gonna have to play around with this. I kind of want to clip it, hold on. I have a couple of clip options here. I don't like how flat the top is. I definitely think that I should have put it, like held it up here for these top sections. I already put this brush on there cause I want to fix my curtain bangs, but let's see if we can do a little clip action here. I feel like when it comes to these bubble wand type of things, if you have very long, fine hair, your hair always looks incredible and really nice and textured. It doesn't look terrible, but it also just kind of looks a little more curly than I'm used to. So I'm just going to let it sit without product and maybe it'll naturally fall, like the curls will naturally fall, oh no. I missed a whole section right there. <laughs> this is why we test products out and tools out so that when I get it to you guys, I can tell you what worked and what didn't work for me. I like doing first impressions, but sometimes I feel it's necessary to test products out on my own just to give it a fair chance and not misjudge it, I guess, and give you guys the wrong first impression. I always go back and forth on if I wanna do a first impression on things or if I want to test it out for a while and then come back to you. I just don't want to give the wrong impression. And I also don't think it's really fair of me to not research or figure out how to use the product to the best of its ability because I can't imagine a brand, you know, spending months or years on a product and then having one person use it incorrectly and then say, oh, don't waste your money. Like I, I definitely feel like I like to give brands and products the benefit of the doubt because that's what I would want. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'm going to take it out of the clip for now so that I can let these top parts kind of fall and do their thing as well. Maybe I'll look up videos on how people style bubble wand hair. 
That's right, Wingstop has a new flavor. It's a limited flavor. I don't know if it's new actually, it's limited. I don't know when it's over either. Lemon herb, uh, spice, something like that. What's the herb? I don't know. Of course, we had to get the season fries. Regular lemon pepper and 600 ranches. Mm. Been a while since we had wing stop. Can't get enough of that oh, ranch. Can I have my um, paper towel? I figured now would be a good time to answer y'all's questions. I put out on my story a couple weeks ago that I was gonna start vlogging and I asked you guys to leave some questions for me. We got a few that I want to answer. I figured we'd do it while we're eating, like a little mukbang. Okay, but before we start, do you want to try the lemon herb? Oh yeah. <gasps> a goo! You didn't ask for flats. I didn't ask for all flats, no. <sighs> I'm an all flats kind of gal. All right, this is the new limited flavor. I don't know if it's new. Limited Ooh, flavor. look at all those mystery herbs on there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. try it without ranch first. No, I'm gonna dip mine in ranch. Ready? Yeah. Tastes like oregano. We're good. Mm. Not as lemony as I wanted it to be. Tastes kind of like, like rotisserie chicken seasoning. Yeah. Lemon rotisserie chicken seasoning. That's yeah. I guess that's pretty much what it is, right? Yeah, you're probably right. It's not bad. Prefer the regular lemon pepper, but worth a try. Okay, Judd's gonna go ahead and take Mila out. So I guess I'll answer the questions that don't have to deal with him. Here is the traditional lemon pepper, the best flavor. So the first question I have here, are you going to sing in your vlogs? So if you guys don't know, I am a singer or I used to, I don't know. I don't know if I still identify as a singer, but all my life I've sang. In college, I also started to gig around town. So I used to play at bars, hotels, restaurants, and that was like my side gig while I was in school. In 2016, I graduated from college and then I started working full time, but I still sang for about two years after that. And I officially stopped in 2021. I wanna say 2021, I officially stopped gigging. I have decided if I'm going to continue to sing in my vlogs, cause I just don't really do it anymore. I just feel out of practice. But yes, I don't know. I don't plan on singing in any of my vlogs. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not very good at it anymore just because I haven't done it in so long. Are you Filipino? What is your fave dish and what part of the, the pH are you from? I am Filipino. I'm full Filipino. My mother is from Olongopo and my dad, I'm not quite sure because he actually moved when he was younger, when he was a child but he's also Filipino. And what's my favorite dish? Arroz caldo. <laughs> I really, really, really like soup. I like bulalo. I don't know, I, I think I eat a lot of Filipino food because my mom still cooks a lot of Filipino food. I eat all the usual stuff, I guess. My husband's also full Filipino. And his parents, no, his mom. I have two parents. I know, but which one is from Olongopo? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both are from Olongopo, Subic Bay. I don't know if it's technically, I think it's like Olongopo city, like the city limits, not necessarily Subic Bay. Oh. I don't know, I don't really know how it works. And I haven't been back since I was four. I don't think I've been back since I was around 11 or 12. Okay, I moved the camera up. So both of our parents were in the military, both our dads were in the Navy. So we both kind of grew up overseas before moving here. The next question is a good segue. How did you and your hubby meet? We met at church. In the house of the Lord. <laughs> we met at church on base because again, like I said, both our dads were in the military. We met a lot of our longtime friends at, at church. We've known each other for 16 years and we have been married for one and a half of those years and we were dating for five of those years and we were friends for the rest. That's too long. What do you mean? That's too much. <laughs> Favorite music artist currently or of all time? Um, I would say of all time, John, John Mayer. Mayer. Gravity! <laughs> My tattoo says gravity. It's for that song. And also it's just to remind myself to stay grounded and humble. For a long time I was in denial that I really like pop. 
and I like a lot of pop artists. Who's your favorite artist? Hmm. Music artist. Hard to say. Depends on what I'm listening to at the time, because I switch genres pretty often. Like mm -hmm. just listen, whatever. Oh, <clears throat> along with pop, I feel like I like a lot of other music too. I really like Dan and Shay. That's like the country for me. Casey Musgraves. That's like the country for me. I'm mad at I met a girl. Don't know what like the genre is called, but like Leon Bridges. Whatever his genre is, I really like. Maggie Rogers, love Maggie Rogers. Favorite movie, that's a really, really hard one. Not because I have a lot, but because I just don't remember a lot of movies. I used to say The Proposal with Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. I like comedies. I kind of like rom-coms, they're just easy to watch. And I'm very indecisive, as you guys will realize in these vlogs. Well, my favorite movie, The Prince of Egypt. Oh yeah, Goofy. The Goofy movie? A Goofy movie, not the extremely Goofy movie. A, <laughs> a Goofy movie. Nobody else but you. So, something about Jed is that he has very low standards in movies. He loves movies that are rated really, really <laughs> terribly. And he doesn't know it. He doesn't know movies are rated terribly and he'll recommend it to people. When he looks it up, they're like a two star rating. <laughs> Your go-to foundation. That's a good one. I get oily in my T-zone throughout the day and also majority on my cheeks. I would say my go-to drugstore foundation would either be the L'Oreal um, serum foundation or the Maybelline skin tint. I love both of those. I love how natural they look and feel. But the Maybelline one lasts me a little bit longer throughout the day. Now, higher end foundations, House Labs, Makeup by Mario. Those are the only two that are coming to mind right now. I do plan on doing a video, like a makeup collection tour soon. So you guys will see what's in my drawers and hopefully I can give you a little bit more insight on the foundations that I really like. Look at that coverage. Okay, I think those are all the questions for now. Good morning. So, it's Saturday. We're taking the dogs on a quick walk right now because we are actually going to go play pickleball with our friends. We are definitely those people. <laughs> so Jed started playing pickleball last year or so and I started playing like probably last fall, I think. We haven't played since my birthday, which was mid-July. And then I think we're gonna grab brunch afterwards. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I actually ended up getting a massive headache, but I'm feeling a little better now. So now my sister, my husband, and I are getting sushi, right? She picked the place, so we're just grabbing some sushi for dinner. Okay. And tomorrow we're gonna go to watch a Jaguar, uh, Jaguar game. Yes, tomorrow we're gonna watch the football game. Good morning! It's Sunday and we are heading over to our friends for a football game. I thought I would get ready. Not gonna do a ton. I definitely like to just let my skin do its thing throughout the weekend whenever I'm not working, you know? 
I do still want to look a little awake <laughs> using the Live Tinted Brow Gel. This is really nice. It's a little bit thicker of a gel, but what I like about it is it's clear. And it's thick enough to where it'll hold my brows in place, but n it's not crusty or flaky. I have a pimple, like a whitehead in my hairline right here. And I'm trying really hard not to pop it because, I mean, it's just in my hairline. It's not super noticeable. I used my benzoyl peroxide spot treatment and I want to see how quickly it'll go away. I feel like the benzoyl peroxide treatment that I bought from La Roche-Posay has been doing wonders, wonders on my acne. I never used benzoyl peroxide because growing up, whenever I did use it, it didn't really do anything, but now that I think back at it, I think that maybe I was using it on acne that was not really affected by benzoyl peroxide. So for instance, I think I had a lot of closed comedomes and clogged pores versus whiteheads and stuff. From what I've read so far, benzoyl peroxide is mainly used for active breakouts like blackheads, whiteheads, and it kills the bacteria on the actual pimple versus clearing out the pore. Growing up, I used strictly salicylic acid. It still works really well for me, and I've been playing with using benzoyl peroxide in my night routine and salicylic acid in my morning routine. And so far, I mean, look, this has pretty much been completely cleared out, except for this like really stubborn one right here. And I don't have any active breakouts on my chin or down here where I usually do. It's mainly scarring right now. I do have a tiny little one that's still healing, but my skin's doing like 10 times better than it was maybe three months ago. Um, we're just gonna bring some sides because our friends are cooking the main dishes, the ones that we're going to their house. And everyone else is just bringing sides and desserts and stuff like that. Jed's aunt is actually visiting from the Philippines. So we are going to go head over to his parents' house, hang out with them to end the day. I feel like you guys have really only seen us eat this weekend. <laughs> So I don't know if this is considered a food vlog. I think I'll use a little bit of foundation just to even out the skin tone and I'm gonna be using the Glossier one in the shade medium five. This one is nice. I kind of feel like this gives me a very skin-like finish. So using it on days when I don't need some intense coverage has been very enjoyable for me. It definitely does get quite oily on me throughout the day, but I think that kind of just like adds to it looking skin-like. But if I needed a long wear foundation that's gonna look the same from when I put it on to the end of the day, it wouldn't be this one. <laughs> I'm gonna use a wet sponge to blend this out. I'm gonna use the Live Tinted Concealer under my eyes. I had to switch out my camera battery, but I went ahead, bronzed my face with the Rare Beauty bronzer in the shade Happy Soul. And then I used this M Cosmetics cream blush in the shade Pearl Tea. This is really pretty. I forgot that I had this and I was really obsessed with this at one point. Like, look how much I've used of that. That's a lot. My younger sister slept over last night, so she's in the shower right now and it's directly, the wall is shared. And she loves to sing in the shower using the Oma Beauty setting powder. This is super finely milled and it's really nice, but I find that it's probably the best under my eyes and everywhere else. It's almost, I don't know what it is, but it seems to be more broken up and accentuated on other areas of my face. Like on my cheeks, when I tr I've tried to set my whole face with it, it ends up looking kind of separated and odd. So I think this is going to, I'm gonna have to keep playing with this. I think this is gonna be reserved for under my eyes. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty powder all over the face. I said I wasn't gonna do much makeup and now I'm doing a whole face of makeup. All right, I finished my makeup for the most part. I went ahead, powdered my face, mascara, a little bit of a wing with this Maybelline cream shadow stick. It's just the brown one and these are really good. I actually really like the the point, I feel like it lasts a really long time on the lids, especially if you use it as just a subtle liner. And it has a sharpener that I actually really like to use to get that point. Now I'm gonna use this Wonder Skin Wonder Blading Lip Mask. This is in the shade Whimsical. I really like this. This was probably the most popular shade, 
but I feel like maybe I want a lighter, more wearable shade, something, you know, that's more my usual shade. This one is nice and I like the color, but I have to wipe it off like right away. I think the shade Adore would be a good option. Oh, but another thing about this is it kind of burns. It kind of burns my lips. So I just line it, I draw the line, and then immediately I wipe it off. Look, do you see that? So fast. So you can imagine what it would look like if I left it on for like 10, 20 seconds longer. It's pretty dark. It's like almost a, a dark mm, berryish red. I'm just gonna fix that line right there. The dogs are coming in hot. See that? Works really, really well. And then I'm just gonna wipe off most of it do a really quick line and wipe it away. I don't like it on the inner part of my lips, so I avoid that. There you go. It makes such a big difference. I'm just make sure I get all the purple off. And then I'll either leave it like this or I'll put a lip balm or lip gloss on and call it a day. I don't even bring this with me. It pretty much lasts throughout the day. Great for a potluck or something where I know I'm gonna be eating. I need to do something with this. I have dry shampoo just marinating in it right now. Oh, these are the curls from the other day, by the way, from that bubble wand. I'll show you guys. So it's lasted pretty much the whole weekend. So it actually looks pretty good like this. Maybe I'll just leave it. I feel like my hair always looks like a hot mess. Clearly I don't like to mess with my hair much, which is ironic because a lot of my hair videos <laughs> have a lot of engagement and views all the time. I'm gonna clean up a little get some stuff ready, take care of the dogs, and then we're gonna head out. Did you use the hand soap or did you use the, the dish soap? soap? Dish soap, hand soap. Look at that makeup, look at it, look at it. How long have you been wearing it? How long have you been wearing it? Like two hours. Two hours. We're only two hours in. We'll check on you later. What up? What up? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, oh, oh. We got a party though. All those news caps. Look at that. The chicken. We got the pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. We got the squad, the family. We got the family. Hey, everybody. So it's almost 3 30. We left the football game watch party and we're losing. <laughs> I think the Jags are still losing. We just dropped Bella off back at her house and saw my parents and now we're heading to Judd's parents' house. They live on the other side of town so we're heading that way. Luckily it's like kind of on the way like there's a route from my parents' house so it's not too bad but heading over there now. Um, I think we're gonna have an early dinner. My headache is coming back slowly, but I took some more Excedrin and I'm hoping that it works. I did have a drink over at our friend's house. Maybe that was not the smartest decision, but it was good. We are going to watch a movie to end the night, to end the weekend. Elemental is actually on Disney and we've been dying to watch it actually. So I'm gonna get ready for bed, gonna do my skincare and then head downstairs and watch a movie with Jed. I have a lot of people that have asked me my current skincare routine morning and night. And honestly, it's really difficult for me because I change it up all the time. I don't have like one set routine, I guess, but I do, I don't know how to explain it. So I don't just cycle through the same product every night or every morning, you know, but I do use similar products every night or every morning. I hope that makes sense. So for instance, every night I'll use some sort of acne serum, some sort of hydrating serum, and every morning I'll use some form of vitamin C. I just figured I would do my skincare with you guys now to end the night and to end this video. So the cleansing oil I've been using for my first cleanse and also what I've been using to take my makeup off with is the Purito from Green Cleansing Oil. This one I recently spoke about in my most recent Yes Style video. I really like it. I'm about, mm, I'd say a third of the way, two thirds of the way through. But for my mascara, 
mascara. I have been using this Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover and it is the absolute best thing to have happened to me and my waterproof mascara or just my stubborn mascara. As you guys know, only use waterproof or Asian mascaras and they stay forever. And this stuff is amazing. It basically is an eye makeup remover on this kind of comb-like wand. You just brush it through your lashes like a mascara. It is sort of like a cleansing oil, but specifically for your mascara. I like to do this as my first step when removing my makeup because I like to let it sit for at least, I'd say like two minutes or so. And obviously you're taking your makeup off so you don't have to be super precise with it but i am a bit careful about not getting it in my eyes it can create a film in your eye but it actually washes away pretty easily i wear contacts and i can just easily like rinse my my face and my eyes and it'll go away but i have it on there as you can see it's already kind of like melting this is what that foundation is looking like at the end of the day by the way it's very oily if you can see, but it almost looks like healthy skin. I could probably do without this much oil. Like if I took a blotting sheet in the middle of the day it would be good, but also I didn't really mind it. I kind of felt like, I was kind of feeling how this looked like natural, shiny skin. You can see like my bronzer and my blush and everything still stayed, even though I got pretty oily. Usually I do like two pumps of this into my dry hands. And then I'm gonna massage it in. And this really does get rid of all of my makeup on my face, preps it really nicely, doesn't leave a greasy film. And I like to do this before I hop into the shower because when I get in the shower, I just get under the shower head and rinse it away. I switch between cleansing oils and cleansing balms all the time. I don't really think I have a preference except for when I'm traveling. I definitely prefer, prefer a cleansing balm. And typically I will just completely ignore my mascara because again, we already have that mascara remover working. So I like to just swipe it away with a cotton pad. So I just have this cotton pad right here and I'm just going to use it to swipe my mascara away. It's really good. And this takes the majority of it away. And sometimes I'll either do another layer of the mascara remover or I'll just take what's on my face, rub it on the remainder, and then it's virtually gone. So now I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'll be back to do the rest of my skincare with you guys. Okay, I thought I would show you guys my skincare shelf. Of course, <laughs> this is not all of it. This is just kind of what I'm currently rotating through. I wanted to show you guys just so you can see what we're working with here. They're sort of like in sections. So here we have the facial sprays. All of these are some sort of toner. This section right here is my husband's. We have sunscreens and facial oils and eye stuff like eye cream and lash serums. We have my moisturizers and more moisturizers and then all of these are some sort of serum or hydrator so that's kind of how i have it all broken up this is my shark flex style and usually our dyson is sitting here as well my husband made these shelves if you guys are curious he 3d printed these brackets right here and we just used some leftover wood from other DIY projects. So I think I want to do a little bit of chemical exfoliation tonight. I'm gonna be first starting off with my Tower 28 SOS spray. I really like this. Oh, I should not have been talking when I did that. I can douse my face in this. It is so gentle, feels really nice. I feel like it has saved my skin. Balances it, calms it, all the good things. So because we're gonna go in with some sort of chemical exfoliant, I think I'm going to opt for a more hydrating toner. I have this one that I really like from Hada Labo. This is the original toner. I actually just refilled this with a different one. This was the, the milk version. I just refilled it with the regular hydrating one. I also have Numbuzin number one toner. It's a pure full calming herb toner and this peach and lily one. I like all of these for moisturizing and just hydrating the skin. Let's go in with the peach and lily one. So I like this because while it's a hydrating toner, you can tell it's a little bit thicker of a consistency. So you can see the bubbles there are moving quite slow because it is a little bit thicker. It has a little bit of a gel viscosity to it. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see that, but I like to take some just directly 
on my palms and take all of your skincare down your neck as well don't forget your neck and your chest if you if you can help it <laughs> and before that dries we're gonna go in with our snail essence this is the cause rx one you guys know i've been using this for i want to say at least three to four years now I'm just taking two pumps of it i like to do this on damp skin because snail essence does pull from existing moisture on the skin it's a humectant so it pulls from moisture that's already on there and by the way i did cleanse in the shower with my penoxyl this has been a complete game changer like i've mentioned before benzoyl peroxide i have been experimenting with on my skin and it's loving it it really is it's helping a lot with my acne i have two exfoliators that i really like to interchange these days because i find that they're effective but they're not irritating on my skin i have this face reality mandelic acid that i got from my esthetician it's eight percent and it is incredible and i also have this topicals faded this has tranexamic acid in it so it's a little bit more gentle than the mandelic serum i think i'm gonna go in with this because i think it can handle it whenever my skin is my skincare barriers is very compromised. I like to either skip altogether my acids and stuff, or I'll use very gentle ones all over the skin. And we're also going to use it on this white head that I mentioned to you guys earlier. It definitely has shrunk a lot. I don't know if you guys can even see it. It's right here. It's still a white head, but it's a lot smaller than earlier, which is incredible. And I'm gonna let that completely dry. I'm just gonna fan my face a little bit. I've been experimenting and playing with the Numbuzin Number no. Three Serum. This is a skin softening serum. It has fermented ingredients in it. This is essentially what is it? What is it called? The Lancome Advanced Genifique and the Essay Lauder Night Repair. Same thing. Same ingredients. And I also have been loving, 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 if you haven't seen it, my Mary and May video, I have been loving this niacinamide serum. It's incredible, leaves my skin looking like glass, and it seems to really help with oil control. And I just really like it. So I'm gonna be using this tonight. I really like mixing my niacinamide with my acids because I feel like it makes it more potent, but still not irritating. The goal is to not irritate the skin. And Marin May products are really great because they're made to soothe sensitive skin, but also still be the right amount of effective. Going to use a little bit of this Mary and May eye cream. This also has tranexamic acid in it, but I find that it's actually very gentle. But I like it because I think it's nice and thick for nighttime, but it's not too thick to where I can't easily blend it out you know it's going to go in with my moisturizer and i've been using this mary and may gel cream it's the sensitive soothing gel cream i think that this has been another game changer for my skincare routine because it's nice and hydrating but because of that gel texture it doesn't feel too heavy too thick it doesn't clog my pores it leaves my skin feeling nice and hydrated all night and i wake up and my skin still feels looks and feels very soft and hydrated. I have even been using my skincare on the back of my neck because I've been thinking about how often the sun like hits the back of my neck and it just makes sense to me. Recently, I have been using the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. This is the watermelon one. I've used quite a bit of it. If you can see, there's a big divot in there. I really like this. It's not too intense of a plumper. You can definitely still feel it. I love the smell of this. Mm, it just smells like watermelon candy. It feels really nice and it keeps my lips feeling very moisturized in the morning. It's definitely thinner than the Laneige sleeping mask, but it's still thick enough to where I wake up and my lips are still hydrated. So that is the skin routine tonight. Again, it always changes, but tonight is an exfoliation night. And this is what the skin is looking like. As you can see, nice and shiny. That's how I like my skincare to look at night and also in the morning when I finish my skincare. Sometimes when I have active breakouts, I well, every time I have active breakouts, I'll use a spot treatment. And currently I've been using the one from La Roche-Posay. This is the benzoyl peroxide one. It's 5.5% benzoyl peroxide, so it's very strong, but it is incredibly potent. And I also like to use my light stem. Have it right here. I'm not doing it tonight because I did it last night and I don't feel like 
any of my acne is intense enough right now that I want to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time and I hope you had fun watching my weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!